Now, there's been so much talk about the WWE backstage bullying in the early 2000s. You were older at that time when you were in WWE, but did you either experience any of that or witness any of it? I know that you wrestled JBL before, who was known as one of the, the big bullies back there at the time. Yeah, you know... It's funny, ironically enough, I was just watching uh, an interview with Rick Bassman and JBL was on there. I think you were coordinating that or part of that somehow. Um, anyway, I, I saw with Boss Rudin and Butterbeam and Sean Ray and JBL came on. Who am I missing out? There's someone else there. Um, I think that's it, Rick Bassman. But, uh, you know, John, you can tell, is older and seems like he's grown a lot and matured. Uh, you know, I, I think... He, so what John said, though, back there is just part of the culture, part of, and that's that, that's true, you know, that's for some people. Uh, some people can handle it, some people can't. Uh, there's, there's been a few times that he would joke with me, too. Uh, you know, whenever, there was a point, though, that, that came about as in England, as a matter of fact, and I was being kind of, I felt that I was kind of being pushed a little bit. So I had a, you know, as a man, I had to stand up for myself, and I had a question if, there's a real problem with me because if there is, then if it's something we have to handle and take care of, well, let's just get it done. But apparently it was just nothing more than just, nope, just, just playing around. No big deal. I, I, I like you. We work matches together. Um, the hardcore matches. And I'll be honest, I enjoyed working with JBL. I thought, again, I just, I, he's a little snug and I, I like snug, you know, take care of your opponent. But yeah, we had, we had some, uh, you know, we had one of those, a uh, couple of those, I don't know what matches you would call them, but you're using, you know, utensils and stuff in the ring, smashing each other, over each other's head, that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe no holds barred matches. I, I actually enjoyed working with JBL. I would say I was never bullied by him or really anybody. I think some hard joking here and there that could be taken that way, but I didn't take it that way. I had pretty thick skin and I kind of was on to him and I felt deep down when push came to shove, uh, I got to know uh, his real, him like as a person, and he's actually a pretty good guy. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.